snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for Santa tonight. Good morning, and we're here for another episode of Art with the Armory. Uh, I have to start out by saying uh, we apologize for being late. We are having um, some difficulties with our sound, and so please bear with us as we work through this. We're having difficulty hearing each other, but I think you'll be able to hear what's going on. Please leave us comments if, if you can't hear one of us uh, moving forward. So today we're actually doing a, a really fun project and I'm here with co-host Danae Morgan and Margaret Barber. Danae is right in front of you with our gnome project, our holiday gnome, and then Margaret is actually filming. So we're going to try to run through this still. They're going to give us the instructions on how to make these beautiful, cute, Knowns. But again, if, if you can't hear us or you have any difficulty, leave, leave us a, a question in the comments and we'll follow there. And if you have questions about what we're doing, uh, leave comments. At the end of this show, we will, we have some slides with instructions. We'll put those instructions on um, in the comments so that you'll have those as well. So we're going to move forward now. So Danae, I hope that you can hear me and see what we're doing. So Danae, I'm going to let you go ahead and start, but let me show you the, um, before we do that, let me show you the supplies that you'll need to do this. And Danae, I'll let you go over these supplies. How about that? Yes, that sounds good. I may need you to walk me through it because I can't see you, but um, okay. yes, we can do that. And I can hear you well right now. Okay, so we have the supplies that are on the list because, yeah, you can't see the screen. Um, we have a hot glue gun and glue sticks to go with that. Does it matter the, the size? Or it, that doesn't matter with that, right? I would highly suggest using low temp glue sticks. I burned the heck out of my finger the other day okay. with some industrial glue gun, and so I prefer the low temp. Okay, um, and and there may be other kinds of glue we can use, and, and if so, I'll let you talk about that. We need scissors, festive socks, styrofoam cones, faux fur that comes in sheets, wooden balls, beads for noses, and the size, somebody had asked in the comments earlier, what size do you need? And that really depends on the size of the gnome that you want to create. So right now, I'll, I'll take you back to uh, Danae, who can uh, talk about what, what is a gnome and, and what we're going to be doing today, and then just, just walk us through, show us how to make one of these, and thank you so much. Well, thank you, Anne, for having us, as always, um, and I knew you were going to ask me the origin of a gnome, so we've been doing a little research this morning. Um, we are all familiar with, like, the garden-type gnomes. Um, the last few years, uh, the gnomes have popped up on the Christmas scene, and they're pretty popular. Um, I had actually bought a few of these to go in my Christmas decor in my house. And so we just got to looking at them, and it was like, we could figure out how to make these. Um, and there's some tutorials out there, and you can uh, really change things up. There are a lot of different ways you can make them. Uh, we wanted to go with a simple style um, with readily available supplies. And so that's what we did. We didn't want to get into the sewing and, and things like that. So, um, but the gnomes apparently have a Scandinavian origin. Um, I think back in the 18th century, they probably popped on the scene um, in like Germany, Sweden, Switzerland, those type places. And supposedly and help me out margaret supposedly they were in people's homes and they brought christmas cheer um there are lots of stories out there but we want to go with the sweet little fun ones <laughs> the cute ones um so that would be something fun to look at but they are uh really being used in a lot of christmas decor right now so, Danae, can you show us how to make one? We'll just go ahead and, and go into the process. Do you want to start with some instructions or we'll do the instructions as a follow-up? 
Well, I'm going to walk us through it. And so I'll try to cover as much of pos as possible. And then we can have some questions. Uh, we are live. So if I leave something out, please feel free to ask. Um, but I've made several. Uh, Margaret can show you. We have quite a little village that mm -hmm. will sort of go over the differences um, in the styles. But they're really fun. Uh, you almost have to hold them to the side to see the back of them because their beards are so big and fluffy. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll certainly jump into it and I'll try to give as much detail as possible, but feel free to ask anything you may want to know. So we're gonna start with the body. We're gonna make a six, six inch gnome today. And so it's gonna take a six inch styrofoam cone these cones can be found anywhere. Um, most of our supplies, I will say, came from Target and Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Tree. Uh, we tried to go as inexpensively as possible. We have, they have different sizes of styrofoam cones in your local stores. So there's a six inch, which seems to be the smallest and it makes the cute little small size. Then there's a nine inch, and then there's a 12 inch and this is the 12 inch and anything larger than that is not going to work well with the sock, which is what we're going to be using. So the first step is to work on the body of your gnome. And so you're going to want a very thin Christmas sock. Um, these are different sizes and different styles. We found this particular one at the Dollar Tree. There are several others out there, um, you can see, but there's a thin type. Some of them are the short, some of them are the long, um, and these are usually about a dollar. I would not pay over a dollar for something like this. And for the body, what we want to do, you're not going to work with this top part of your sock. You're only going to be working with the bottom part. And so this is going to be about four to four and a half inches for your body. So we're just going to measure that out. We're going to go four and a half today. And then you're just going to cut. You want some really nice sharp scissors. Just going to cut straight across and cut that off. Simple as that. One cut. Fortunately, this one has a line on it. You cannot get this wrong. So we're going to put this away. This is going to be the body or the base of your gnome. So you're going to take your six inch styrofoam tree little cone and you are going to pull the sock up over the cone here and this one is kind of cute and then it has a different color at the bottom so you can end up with a little bit of a base there and then you just want to pull it up and just kind of work it till it looks right and don't, we're not going to worry about this part right here. This is all going to get covered up. With his beard. With his beard, yes. And so we're going to take one little dot of hot glue just to secure it down. So we're just going to glue this. Just have a little glue here. And be very careful with that. And we're just going to press that in just to adhere it to the cone so it doesn't go slipping and sliding. So step one, this is what, what it's going to look like. Okay, step two, this is going to be the front. Where your glue is, is going to be the front of your body. So that's going to be the front of your gnome right there. Step two, you're going to use this faux fur, which I believe we got, and that's what it says. It's faux fur. It comes in all different colors. Um, there's black and brown and red. So your little guys could, we bought white because we were trying to go Christmassy, but your little guys could have any color beard they would like, that you would like for them to. This is a long pile fur. And so it's gonna say that on there. And what that means is it's gonna have this, if you had a short, this little guy would be a short, kind of a short pile because I cut him down. But you want it to be really long so it has this little extra fluff at the bottom. And this stuff gets everywhere, so you will have it all over you when you're working. So what we wanna do now is to make our beard. 
And for this size, the six inch, we are going to cut and he's going to be, and you can kind of work with this just to kind of see your beard's going to start about, it's going to hang about two thirds down to the bottom of the cone. So about a third of it is going to be left for his cap. Um, so you're just going to kind of work with this, but what it ends up being, I think for this particular one, I'm going to go about two inches. And like I said, this is, I'm not really going to measure this too much. We're just going to, going to go with it. We're going to go about two inches wide and probably about three, maybe three and a half for the length. So we're going to cut this and there's a trick. And I learned this trick the hard way. What you want to do is there's a backing on this fire that holds everything together. And so if you were just to cut it straight across like this, it would, you would not have this little part, this cute part on the bottom that fluffs out. So you don't want to do that. You don't want a super clean cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort of part it. So you're not cutting the pile directly. So when you make your cut, it's actually, I don't know if you can see that, it's actually going to be into the backing and not on the fire. That's just a little bitty tip there. So we're going to, we're going to cut the width down here and then I'm going to look at it again and sort of play with it and make sure that this is going to be the length I want. I want that to come on down a little bit. You can always trim these little guys up, um, but you don't want to cut too short the first time. So I'm just going to cut that on down, get that out of the way. And so you're here. So I'm going to go and again, you want to Move the pile of the fur and kind of make a clear little path because you don't want to cut this little bit here. So we're going to go straight across there. And then when you brush it back down, it's going to lay down. So you're going to see that this stuff gets everywhere. And so what I usually do is just kind of pick it off to get this from being all over me and from all over your project. Okay, so as simple as that, you have a little rectangular piece for the beard here. And then we are simply going to hot glue and see how it kind of comes over. So on the finished little project, it's gonna be like this. So it's really cute that it just kind of hangs over the edge there. Um, but if you don't like that look, you can trim the beard and we'll, talk, we'll show some more examples of that later. So at this point, we're gonna to wanna to hot glue and so I'm going to do the top first with just adding the bead of glue across and then onto the sock. And remember, this edge is not going to show. All of this will be covered up. So just hold that down for a second. Let it, let it kind of cool just a bit. And we'll go along to the, I'm going to go ahead and do the sides. And it doesn't take much. You just don't want this flopping around. So you can just get some glue on there, a little bit in the middle there, and just press it down. Okay, now you see this is what happens on live TV. It's a little bit long there, and I'm going to let that kind of set up, and then I can actually trim him as needed. So we're going to let him set up and not stick to the thing. All right, now we're going to move into the nose. And the nose is simply a wooden ball. And you can get these at any craft shop. We have different sizes depending on the size of your gnome. There's some really large ones. I think the larger the nose, the cuter they are, actually. It gives them a lot of character. So this little guy, uh, most of our noses are about one inch to one and a half inch wooden ball. They do have some tinier ones. I don't know what size you would call that. This is probably a half inch. Um, and I only used it on this one little guy. So for the nose, we are going to just put some hot glue all along the edge of your ball here and press it right on the top 
center edge of the fire. Okay, right there. And it's gonna take a minute to set up. So you can see how he's coming together. He's gonna be cute. He is gonna be cute. And this is pretty forgiving. If you don't get it just right, you can reposition it if needed. Um, so that's, that's where we are now. That would be my phone falling. <laughs> Let me get that real quick. They are cute socks, Tawana. And it's amazing how, what the variety that uh, um, Dollar Tree has of cute Christmas socks. Yes, they are. There are cute socks everywhere this time of year. And like I said, we'll show some more examples, but um, we didn't pay over a dollar for any of these socks. Uh, this one came from the Dollar Tree and it's super cute and we wanted something that was coordinating and you can see how that will look. So this is going to be the hat, okay? What you wanna do, it just takes one fluffy type sock and you're gonna fold it inside out. And this is the hardest part of the project and it is not hard at all. I say that, the whole, the whole project is actually very easy. So there's your sock. The cuff of the sock will be the band of the hat, if that makes sense. So we're not gonna cut into the cuff. We want that to stay elasticy, to slide down over the comb. So on this size, no, we're gonna want a 10 inch length. And this particular sock is perfect because it is right at 10 inches on the long side. We're not worried about the heel. This actually becomes scrap and we, it goes away. So what you do is you would, if you have a longer sock and some of these are longer like this one, but you would only wanna use 10 inches. So you would find your 10 inch mark. So at that point, we know that the 10 inch, the sock is 10 inches. We're going to start down at the bottom and you're going to cut diagonal, diagonally <laughs> to the very top, just like this. I'm going to use the scissors and cut along this line, not cutting into, we're going to take our scissor off the edge before we get to the band, if that makes sense. You don't want to cut into this because then you're going to have two pieces that it's going to be, you can, you can make it work, but it's just a little easier to do it this way. And the elastic creates that little nice cuff on your hat. Exactly. Exactly. That's the whole reason. So we're going to start here. This is easy. You don't have to, I'm not, I'm eyeballing this there. You don't have to make any sight lines or anything like that. I do want to avoid this red part because the little hat looks like this. If I got some red in there, you would have a very random red spot in the, the width of the hat there. Just don't want to do that. So I am, however, and I didn't do this with this one. I am, however, going to, I think I started here with this little guy. I'm going to go down here and just have a little red on the point of the cap. We're going to see what that looks like. So we're just going to, and you want some really... This is thick fabric, so some nice sharp scissors, and you're gonna go off the edge before you get to the band. If that, does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So this is scrap, this goes away, we're not using that. So what we're gonna do now, so you have something that looks like this, okay? We're going to hot glue the two edges together. So we're going to run a bead of glue along the bottom edge and press it down and let it cool. So we're gonna do that now. So you just want to get a nice little bead going along here. I go about halfway and I am not using my fingers because I have learned the hard way. We're gonna use anything you have that you don't mind maybe getting a little glue on, but we're gonna use some popsicle sticks you see that little glue does squirt out there and you don't want that to be your finger. And you see how fuzzy these things are. So you have little fuzzies everywhere. And then we're going to one more little bead to the end. 
we're going to see how that that looks you can always fix anything that doesn't take the first time but you don't want a, any holes in this because <clears throat> his hat will have a hole in it yeah <laughs> so this ends up creating a seam at the back of the hat if you can you really aren't going to see that or feel that um, because we're going to turn it inside out so we're going to let that set for just a second and hope that i got all of the okay i don't see any holes we're going to keep our fingers crossed i am going to let that set up for just another second so easy so far really really easy this would be something fun to do with your kids or your grandkids or you could make these for your kids friends or relatives um, this is a cute teacher's gift. So we're going to turn this inside out. Little tip with the point of the hat because it, it's kind of narrow up there. And so we're going to want to push this. Usually I use my scissors. Let's try that. We're going to want to push the little point up. And there was just a little dab of red which see the red didn't even get in there so because it's in the same so this is going to look exactly like like our little guy over here so that's the hat that's, that's <laughs> funny candy said she would she wondered if her her family would not recognize their their previous christmas gift socks as recycled <laughs> Well, you never know. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so you have a little hat. You're going to use, this is the importance of having that elastic band there. You're going to just push this down over the little guy. You want it to go. So he doesn't really have eyes. Little gnomes usually don't have any huge eyes. And you just kind of work with this. Um, you can do it all types of ways. This thing <laughs> this thing goes any way you want it to go. It can go straight up. And then what you want to do, the fun part to me, is kind of playing with it. Um, I like to sort of spread his little beard out right here. It kind of looks like somebody you may know. <laughs> I did get a little long on this, so I'm going to go back and do a little trim job here. See if we can just get a little bit of that off and make him a little less long. You could give him a little haircut. Let's get some of this out of the way so we can show. That's as simple as that. I mean, it, it does not take much, um, but they're really cute and fun and kids really like them. My kids kind of liked them. They have favorites. You can put this little hat over. We have some examples. We actually made a little village. This little guy, is a fall one. He's kind of got more of the straight beard. He does. I trimmed him down. If you like your men clean shaved, <laughs> you can kind of trim him up. And he, we used a little nose on him. He just looks like a little woodland gnome to me. There's um, just some socks that have foxes on them. My daughter really likes this pink one. And on the back of that, it has some lights, some Christmas lights. So that's super cute. My favorite one are these guys right here. We actually found some gnome socks. How cute is that? Where did we get these, Margaret? Dollar Tree. At the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So for a pair of socks, you can make two. You can make two of these guys. And hey, Janae, can, can, if, if people are a little bit leery of, of using a hot glue gun, and I know that helps. Can you hear me? I, I know that helps to do it um, instantaneously, you know, to, to, to get that instant seam and that nose stuck on. But is that, could you use another kind of crafting glue and maybe just the process be slower if you wanted to work with maybe little kids that you are worried about doing a hot glue gun with? Yes, you do not want to let your little kids loose with a hot glue gun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> burn and hurt um certainly for the um 
you know, the easiness of live TV, we had to do um, use the hot glue. You can certainly use fabric glue. It is going to have a longer setup time, but if you are in no hurry and um, it's super easy to use, I think there, there are several fabric, good fabric glues out there on the market. Um, so yeah, you could certainly do that. Okay. And you, I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead, Margaret. You can also accessorize with like some little bells or pom poms or something like that to go with on your nose. Yeah, this little guy, we hat. just put a little bell on the end. This guy is sort of our winter snowflake one. We put a few little snowflakes on him. And I will say that this one, this is the only one that we um, blew the bank on. <laughs> we saw these cute little, um, what's this called? This is a, like a plaid, plaid, plaid. Yeah, they're coming. Is it a stocking? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it actually, this one, these socks were a little more expensive because they're so fun and wooly. And this looks like a hat cuff to me. So we splurged a little bit. And I just made, I used, I made one out of one sock. This is one sock. I used the bottom half down here and the top half for the hat. And so we'll make, we'll, out of a pair of socks, we'll get two. And this is the larger size. I think this is the 12 inch comb. I think this is the, yeah, this is the 12 inch comb. Okay. Uh, Those so, are great. I'm going to, um, Danae, I'm going to put up some of these uh, just to show people. And these are the cards that we will actually be um, adding to the um, comments. So um, you can come back and look at these and also, you know, come back again to, to watch the video and, and bring your supplies with you and you can do this step by step. Um, these are the instructions for the body and the beard and the nose. Um, and there's another one for the hat. Uh, so those will both be included. And also some step by step pictures will be in the comments too. We'll post those at the bottom um, in the comments so that you can see those. Okay. Um, I, I was going to say okay. these are really inexpensive. I was trying to price out how much one would be. Um, the little cones come, this size cone comes in a packet too, and I use a coupon, so always use your coupon. Um, <laughs> but with that, um, one is somewhere in the $4 range. Um, okay. If, very much and not over five dollars unless you splurge on something but yeah very very inexpensive little sweet gifts great and i know that the cone you can get cones in other um that are not styrofoam but the styrofoam looked to me when you were doing it like the sock really sticks well to it yes. so it doesn't some of the others were um i think are, are more like um like a cardboard or something that would be a more slick Thing, and this looked like it, it stuck real well. Yes. Well, listen, you, you guys, this has been a wonderful thing. I hope that everybody can take this away and do this project um, at home. If you do the project with us, please send us pictures. We'd love to post them on here to see what kind of gnome you have made. Um, and um, again, if you have, and we were um, showing this a minute ago, if, if you have any questions, um you can uh replay this oh i'm i'm looking at the wrong things just a minute um if you have any questions you can ask in the comments here or um also email the arts council at montgomeryal.gov and they'll be happy to answer your questions there and you can ask questions afterwards we'll check back to see if any new questions have been added um, and we had another uh, Sheila Morris who said these are very cute. Thank I do. I think these are beautiful. Well, thank you so much. And um, I, I hope, I'm, again, I'm, I apologize for our late start, but I hope that everybody has enjoyed it as much as I have. And we will see you. We're going to start a new series of some fun events next January. So please watch for those. And uh, we'll make announcements of, of when, what day, and what time a little bit later. But thank you so much. We have really enjoyed the year. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, and I want to show 
Um, I do want to show a, a video of upcoming events that we have coming next week. So if you are still on, please.